N E W S. It's time for the Overnight Underground News Podcast. I'm John Ford. It's kind of a boring news day today, but uh, all that could change in a flash. On Monday, there was a viewing of the body of our Lord and Savior, George Floyd. And of course, today is the wall-to-wall coverage of the George Floyd funeral. Democrats staged one of those take-a-knee moments for 8 minutes and 46 seconds in D.C. on Monday. Nancy Pelosi had a hard time getting back up as her uh, knees gave out on her. Probably not the first time for that. The Democrats pushed their Justice and Policing Act, and Republicans said no, police. Our friends, not food. Honestly, the whole damn thing feels just like an endless and perpetually annoying kabuki theater. Just turn it off already, and step away from the TV, and Twitter, if you know what's good for you. The Army has announced they are ready to surrender. Your cheese-eating surrender monkeys! To cancel culture and the politics of victimhood. Guilty. Army brass yesterday said they are considering changing names of forts and bases that are named after Confederate generals. Among those bases that are being considered for name change are Fort Bragg in North Carolina, Fort Benning in Georgia, and Fort Hood in Texas. That one could just become Fort Boys in the Hood. That would work. Mm-hmm. There is no truth to the rumors that some of the names being considered as replacements for the racist, offensive, objectionable, and mean fort names are... Fort Loser, Fort Surrender, Fort Politically Correct, Fort Putty, Fort White Flag, Fort Pornhub, Fort Forty McFort Face, Fort Gomer, Fort Social Justice Warrior, Fort Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Fort Douchebag, and of course, Fort Asshole. And while we're at it, here's some more cancel culture news. Adam Rappaport, Rappaport? I don't know. The editor-in-chief over at Bon Appetit has stepped down. No, it wasn't because he ordered fried chicken. It seems an old Instagram post with Rappaport in brown face surfaced on Monday. And, of course, this calls for erasing him from existence. Don't touch it! It's the history eraser button, you fool! The rap reports that Rappaport said he is, quote, stepping down as editor-in-chief of Bon Appetit to reflect on the work that I need to do as a human being. As opposed to the work he did in the past as what? A gerbil? A fish? A wallaby? It seems like it's all just too much for anyone to take after the picture of Rappaport surfaced from a Halloween costume he wore 16 years ago. I do not like the cone of shame. Honestly, I've seen the picture, and he just looks like your typical douchebag Yankees fan. But here's something I always wondered. Why is it not acceptable to dress in black or brown face, but it's perfectly acceptable for men to dress as women in drag, wearing the most ridiculous makeup and clothes that many would say are demeaning to women? I mean, there's even a top-rated TV show dedicated to this misogyny. Makes no sense to me. But then, none of this cancel culture, social justice, neo-Marxist postmodernism does. I guess we're just not woke enough yet. Oh, hell. Let's just cancel TV shows while we're at it. The Guardian reports that the TV show Little Britain has been axed from all UK streaming platforms. The erasure is due to concerns about the use of blackface by its two stars, David Williams and Matt Lucas. The BBC Ministry of Truth said, quote, Times have changed since Little Britain first aired, so it's not currently available on BritBox. I say it's time to target all in the family next. Archie Bunker must be cancelled. North Korea is back in the news. According to multiple reports, North Korea has cut all communication channels with their neighbors in the South. The latest move from the North comes as it escalates pressure on South Korea for failing to stop activists from floating anti-Pyongyang leaflets, money, and thumb drives with movies and music across their border. And the winner is a movie from South Korea. What the hell was that all about? According to The Guardian, North Korea said it will, quote, make Seoul suffer for its actions. Isn't living next to North Korea suffering enough? I'd report on more, but honestly, I've just had enough for today. I need to keep a little bit of my sanity. N-E-W-S A mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.